Tech10.com and here I am at London Art Fair 2024 and we're just about to head off out there and have a little look around this place and see what we can find. Uh, it's quite a nice view here from the sort of top back of the place. You can see this is like the main section of the room up to the left. And up to the right, you have uh, other galleries. And then over to the left, you've got like Photo 50 in these different sort of galleries who I assume are invited each year. Anyway, let's go down, have a little stroll, see what happens. So, strolling down these big stairs, you've got a giant bear over there. Should we go look at the giant bear? London Art Fair, I would say, is more known for being kind of quite middle of the road. But um, you've got like a lot of sort of traditional British art. Uh, like, you know, Ben Nichols and those kind of things, which personally I quite enjoy looking at. This is a bit more of a sort of reckless one with a giant bear. Anyway, he's quite entertaining, the bear. Let's just keep strolling around and see what we see. Yeah, you've got all sorts of things. You can see quite sort of traditional. And then you've got these more, certainly meant to be more contemporary, these kind of things. This is Long and Ryle Gallery. Long and Ryle, I think, is primarily known for this guy here, who is called Simon Casson, doing these kind of, you know, bit of like old sort of Renaissance style pictures with a bit of squirrely paint on top. So, yeah, I suppose it's a sort of nice contemporary take on the whole vibe. Oh, they really quite like these ones, though. I haven't seen these before. I don't know what that person's doing with that swan, but anyway. Um, quite like the little tiny leaves on the trees, which are nice and quite fun. It's a really weird time in this bit of the press view because there's absolutely no one here, apart from me wandering around with a camera, and all the gallerists just stare at you. It's quite a fun, colourful thing. Oh, we've got prices on these. Oh, so 24,000 that one is. It's always fun when you've got a bit of price, 24,000. Not bad. What's this? 3,500 Mark Entwistle. I mean, that's quite a nice, very straightforward painting. I mean, like I said, London Art Fair is not freeze. London Art Fair is far more straightforward. So you're not going to have sort of murdered chickens hanging from the ceiling. Well, not in this section. Anyway, I wonder how much this is. 11,000. That's dramatically cheaper than the, the one that was over here. I wonder if that's by somebody more well known. So I suppose these bit, this little bit here is certainly, uh, they're not, um, what you would say, they're not um, uh, traditional. These, these are more contemporary, modern things, these bits here. It's always quite interesting to see what contemporary modern art is. Uh, Apparently selling. Okay, so we're strolling on still. Gildan's Art Gallery. Turned on 50 hertz. Seems to have stopped the flickering that you can see at the beginning of the picture. I said these are more like, um, you know, traditional, or not traditional, but you know, things that are done by people who are dead. Or So you got like Tom Wesselman. I always quite like these. Um, Tom Wesselman things, they're quite, kind of simple colours, straightforward. That's not very bracky, those things, but that's actually Gino Severini. Oh, I've heard of him. Yeah, and you've got like David Hockney Prince. Yeah, so these, these are sort of established artists in this gallery. Sam Francis. Got a bit of Joan Miro around here. Juan Miro probably should be. Keep on strolling. Like a hossack, that's more like contemporary stuff. Strolling on. Got a few sort of, I guess these are kind of fun contemporary things, big sort of bits of a city. Um, I don't know how much these things are. 8,250. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it's so hard to sell art. Well, that's quite fun. Look at a little collage from years ago. Gerber Fine Art and Compass Gallery, Margaret Mellis. Blue, green, red, pink collage, 1941. I like things like that. Oh, look at that gorgeous little drawing. These are the sort of things I do like about London Art Fair. Browse and Derby, another more 
traditional one. Anthony Ayton. So you have got a mix of like, uh, you know, I think Anthony Ayton's still alive. And then you've got you and Uglo dead. Oh, it's quite strange, you and Uglo, not kind of classic. Normal one. Augustus John, definitely dead, died years ago, 1961. Not strange one as well. Lucian Freud print. How much is that? I haven't got a price on that, unfortunately. Oh, yes, yeah, so these are going more straight out. I've seen this painting before. I've seen that you and you glow in a book somewhere. It's good, isn't it? I love that sort of structure of the body. Oh, and this is actually. Oh, now this is one of these weird things. So this is not. So this one is not a you and you glow. And nor is this one, but they've got the vibe of him. Ben Henriquez. So, you know, he's come. He's working in that kind of style. Mooching on. Still got people selling stuff up, as you can see, because I think the press view is literally just a couple of hours before the whole thing actually kicks off. Castle Gate House Gallery. What's that? I've got some. Like a David Hockney drawing. 44,000. Interesting, isn't it? It's a Terry Frost. That's quite interesting. That's a Terry Frost drawing. No, it's so much cheaper, 1,900. Surprisingly affordable, right? Actually quite like it, it's not bad. The David Hockney drawings are always wonderful, aren't they? Really sort of, s a lot of slick's the wrong word, just sensitive. Keith Vaughan, what's that, 52,000. Keith Vaughan, another sort of, you know, classic traditional British artist, I think. There's always quite a few Keith Vaughans here, but they're, they're, they're not bad, are they? They've got that kind of slightly, depressing or atmospheric colours to them, but you know, quite interesting. Bit of sculpture, I would say that's more contemporary, and these bits over here on this wall must be more contemporary again. So I'll keep on strolling, I quite like to do the commentary, loads of you like to complain about my commentary. Uh, so you know, if you hate the commentary, complain away in the uh, thing at the bottom of the um, film, and you can always just turn off the sound. And put on some music in the background. Charlie Smith, kind of another contemporary uh, gallery. It's quite weird because <laughs> the galleries are always in the same spot each year as you walk around. It's a slightly uh, mind blowing. James Freeman Gallery, it's almost like you just sort of returned here 20 minutes after the last show. These are quite fun, aren't they? Oh, and Dylan Thomas. Wim William Morton Bemejo. Oscar Kokoschka. They're quite, quite fun little drawings of these, aren't they? Nice. Look at that weird creature. What are you, creature? Look at that thing. Red monkey. I like red monkey, but not as much as this really weird thing. What is that? Man of sorrow. Oh, he does look a bit sad, man of sorrow, doesn't he? And he's quite entertaining. On we go. Trundling on. Fiumano Clace, London, this one is. That's the name of the gallery, rather. Fiumano Clace. You've got some big sort of pickies in it. Oh, yeah. Got some big sort of pickies with dripping paint and things. Quite fun. Oh. And then rolling back to the other side. What have you got here? Tin Man art. Those would appear to be more contemporary kind of things. And then John, oh, this is, what are we here at? Osborne Samuel, this is one of the most, oh, there's a lovely Patrick Heron. Let's have a look at that. Lovely, how much is that? 48,000. Oh, I just love the Patrick Herons. That's so cool. Simple, beautiful colors, and I love the way the paint just bleeds into each other. It's gorgeous the way that happens, isn't it? Love it. Oh, John Piper, look, that's a beautiful painting. Really nice, I like that. You can see those gentle sort of pen marks of the buildings in the background and the, uh, the lovely colours there. Prunella Clough. 
What's this bit around here? Keith Vaughan, more Keith Vaughan everywhere you go. John Craxton, must be having some kind of major John Craxton vibe in this bit here. Strolling on. That's really more Keith Fawn, more Keith Fawn. Around here is uh, Adrian Heath. It's a bit bending, isn't it? You've got a nice, there's a nice Ivan Hitchens actually, sort of autumnal Ivan Hitchens there. Quite a lot of chunky paint, POA, price on applications, and I won't tell you what it actually costs. Victor Passmore. I do quite like Victor Passmore, even though. They yeah, will look a bit like that, but I mean, I don't know, it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah, because these things are so ingrained in your psyche. Tin Man, I actually quite like this painting here with all these different colours. It's quite pretty. It's nice. Hmm. Brendan Burns, which is as well, like a weird tree. Hmm. Interesting. So we made our way from the back of the exhibition hall, back down to the front here. Um, so that's like a little lower section down there on the ground, away from the uh, upper bit. So I'm going to stroll back down the centre part of this place now. Let's see what happens as we stroll down here. So we've got a few like Bridget Riley, Lucian Freud. It's always quite fun. Always like a bit of a... Uh, Riley. These are obviously Lucian Ford etchings. I've got any price on those? Is that a big? I quite like these kind of. Oh, I've got this little cool thing here. Oh, that's a little cool Barbara Hepworth. That's so funky. How much is that? Can't see the price. I'm not surprised. Oh man, look at these. He Mendes. I know he Mendes told me at City of Guilds in London Art School. These are his obituaries. Paul Arrego. At 4,600 for him in a cluff. <laughs> Interesting. He's kind of made a name for himself digging away with those kind of um, obituary pictures. Well, I like this one over here. It's Graham Sutherland. Which is really cool. I like these. They've always got that kind of a colour to them. But I like them, they're nice. Wondering around here, that is a Terry Frost. We'll have a better look at it in a second. Oh, you've got more Bridget Riley lurking in the corner. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the nice Terry Frost. I like that one back there, the big one. Let's keep on strolling. More Bridget Riley's here, just Bridget Riley's by the look of it at this bit. Oh, what's that weird thing in the corner? That's not Bridget Riley. That is somebody else. Oh, Victor Vassarelli. Victor Vassarelli, oh, 25,000. Interesting. Actually, quite fun. Quite like that. Shame you got the light on in the picture here, but interesting. And then you flip over here to the other side, you've got some more kind of like contemporary stuff. GBS Fine Art. These are like sort of paintings of cars, I suppose. Quite a big sort of middle bit here. Quite like these sort of Bridget Riley's, where they're sort of being worked out by her, like this one here, you can... She doesn't actually paint her own pictures. 20, oh my god, how much is that? 235,000. Interesting. For a sort of sketch. A plan of how to do the real one. It's actually really nice. I like that. And that is a... Yes, yeah, so that's a print. 14,000. Yes, yeah, so an original sketch of how she would set out the painting is 235,000. It's the most expensive thing I think I've ever seen in London Art Fair. I don't know what the top price limit of this place is actually. Okay, keep on moving. England and Co. This wall is by over there. Alan Wheatley Art. Keep on meeching on down. 
Obviously a lot of sort of Alan Davy vibe going on in this bit here. Alan Davy did these kind of pictures here. It's weird, I mean, I sort of know them when I see them. They don't utterly blow me away. I don't know why, but they've got, they've got something about them. Actually, this one's probably better, this more lighter one. Where is that by? I know who that is. But I cannot think. Maybe I saw something like that at Freeze. What's this place? Jonathan Clark and Co. Hmm, you've got some sort of hardcore drawings. Who's that by Stephen Carter? Oh no, I'm pretty sure I had Stephen Carter in an exhibition I did at the Chai Factory. Come around here, got a few more pics. There's another one over there. Who's that by? Pamela Clarkson Kwame. Atakwami. Must be the same as the other one. Oh, they're weird things, I mean. Interesting. I mean, anybody could produce that, couldn't they? But he must have built a name up for it. <laughs> Side of the canvas. Um, must have primed the canvas. It's painted on the sides of it, left unprimed. 25,000. Intriguing. Across the road, as it were. To the Portland Gallery. Chloe Lamb. I mean, it's interesting because a lot of these things, you know, to a degree, I don't know if that's fair, anybody could have produced them, but um, these people have somehow made a name for themselves. Like Marley Morris, these actually aren't that bad at all. I sort of quite like these. It's difficult, isn't it? I think almost everybody painting these days is just desperately trying to find a way to paint when you've got such a, almost you've got such a pressure of Picasso, Matisse, Monet, and then in Britain, Bed Nixon, Patrick Heron, or all those things, Barbara Hepburn. It's almost like, what do you do? You can't quite copy them, but they're sort of there as a massive thing in your head. And these are Mary Feddens. They're quite sweet, these little Mary Feddens, aren't they? Like the little fish and the man with his drink. These look a bit like, so where are we now? Jonathan Clark and Co. They got Roger Hilton. That's quite nice, that one. More control than normal. Roger Hilton, major alcoholic, obviously. Ivan Hitchens. I do love all these. Cause just look at that. There's barely anything in it, but the colours are gorgeous. More oh, nice Ivan Hitchens. It's better, actually. Tumnal again. <laughs> Strolling on round down here. Oh, that must be a little, um... What's his name? Oh, these are... It's quite intriguing, because that, yeah, that's not, that's not Ben Nixon, but this is Ben Nixon. That's quite an intriguing one. Look at it. Blues and browns. <laughs> 150,000, check it out. It's much more expensive, this stuff here this time. And this is a Howard Hodgkin, 140,000. He always painted on frames that he discovered somewhere. Nice big brush marks as usual. <laughs> Interesting, quite enjoyed those uh, those two. Redfern Gallery, another sort of well-known gallery. Tanya Baxter Contemporary. A bit of a David Hockney there, a bit of a... Must be Andy Warhol, and then you've got a Tracy Emin here. William Scott, you've got quite a combo of stuff. How much is that? There's no price, unfortunately. And then William Scott. Is that a William Scott? No, no, it looks like a William Scott, but... Weird collection of stuff in here. Um, keep strolling on over here. No way, you've got quite a lot of sort of... Liz Llewellyn in London. I've never heard of them before. They're not normally in this spot. We got over here, David Messam. Who's that painting by? Oh, Rose Hilton. That's quite nice, that painting. It's really nice colours. Really like that. <laughs> really cool. Oh. 
I'm intriguing all these pictures. I wonder who they're all by. They've all got a kind of vibe to them, haven't they? Finding the modern British public gone. <laughs> intriguing. Percy Horton, Elvin Dunbar, Sir Hugh Mornington. So these are the different people who've done these pictures. Quite intriguing. I've never seen these before, but they've all got a kind of almost Bloomsbury Group vibe to them, which is quite intriguing, isn't it? It's quite different because uh, most of the galleries you see, you see every single year, but this one is actually one I haven't seen every single year. It's almost like these are like quite traditional British paintings they've unearthed from somewhere, like sort of life from paintings. Little dog, but they're kind of cool. I like them. So, making our way on, uh, so we've got back to the uh, where I was. Video myself at the beginning was just up there, so we're down here now. Um, sort of on the second part of the loop through what I call the main section. Quite like these sort of ink, uh, pencil and ink pieces. Now, before this video, I lost about 19 million hours, so I better speed up a bit. Um, down here, it's Paul Orego. These are editions. They're quite cool, these editions, they look. That's like um, Howard Hodgkin editions, which are nice. Sorry. That's um, Tracy Amon editions. Tag Fine Arts, more contemporary kind of thing. Richard Riley kind of stuff. Oh, the Lego people. You always get these little Lego people each year, I think. Kind of funky, though, aren't they? Like the one with the guitar. Advanced graphics, where I did some prints ages ago. You know, I'm saying how you sent it. Yeah. Jealous gallery, I think this one is. Like that, sort of capybara. Well, it's not a capybara, is it? Shame. It was a capybara, even better. Jill George Gallery. Again, more kind of uh, contemporary. I've got prices on these things. Razor Taylor, 5,000, including VAT. Gareth Edwards. <laughs> Strolling on. Photo kind of thing. Oh, one of these freaky kind of infinite things that just goes on forever. Kind of cool, these things, aren't they? No, oh, kind of cool, just with mirrors. Oh, big fox thing. Space alien. It's quite funny, you can feel the whole vibe of the place hotting up now. Because literally, the fancy VIP people are going to be coming in and be given drinks in about an hour. So they're all getting a bit more excited about it all, aren't they? There's some St. Ives place I saw around here earlier, which I can't find anymore. Let's keep on strolling. Rabley Gallery. Yeah, you get yeah, a bit more contemporary vibe to it all. People wandering around. Eileen Cooper. Oh, little comic y bit put together. Oliver Waterman, Paris. There's another Ivan Hitchens. I mean, you got an Ivan Hitchens bonanza in this place, haven't you? You could spend quite a while choosing your favourite Ivan Hitchens. That's not my favourite so far. Um, Mary Fedden doing sort of brachy stuff. Ken Howard. It's a terribly famous kind of sort of, you know, very traditional painter. But it's actually rather nicely painted, that picture. Quite loose and chilled. Kind of freaky contemporary ones. And we're back down here. Sort of to the beginning, as it was. I'm going to go down these stairs now and have a little sneak around here. Let's have a quick look at this first. This is Purdy Hicks. People always go on about, oh, Purdy Hicks, Purdy Hicks. But, um, because again, these are sort of reasonably, well, I mean, not well known across the world, but well known 
within people who'd like to get, you know, uh, you know, reasonably well selling sort of gallery, I guess you'd call it, middle of the road, straightforward. But, you know, that's not a criticism, that just means it's doing reasonably normal stuff, nothing too weird. So, no, you just come down these, just coming down those stairs behind. We're down here. We get this, oh, I'm fall in. We get this sort of bit down here. Let's have a little stroll around what's here. So I think again, these are more like kind of contemporary, contemporary galleries. Is this picture by? Oh, they haven't got all the names up yet. But um, yes, yeah, so you got a different vibe down here again. I always think this is quite a good little. It's difficult to sell. This is a good spot down here. I mean, you've got kind of a nice prominent bit, big squirrely, squirrely drawings, big shape. It's quite simple things to have, aren't they? Up and fall. Interesting, isn't it? A lot of these things are very acceptable. Men and kind of mad and crazy, as in, you know, acceptable to go in a home and then a bit more madly colourful. And through here, this bit. Piano Noble, this bit's always a bit weird. I can never quite tell. If this is a sort of sponsored section, or if this is just a, or what? Um, anyway, whatever it is, you've got this picture here by what must be Ian Davenport. Ian Davenport. I mean, they're not bad pictures at all. I made his name squeezing uh, paint out of syringes and then pour all over the floor. Yeah. Another Ivan Hitchens, a fave of today's. David Hockney Prince. Paul Nash, actually that's such a cracking painting, isn't it? All that restrained grease and grease? Greys and greens, a lot more David Hockneys. 6,500. Scooting on down here, Christopher Kings at Fine Art. A bit more Keith Vaughan, a bit more David Hockney. Oh, that's a weird Patrick Heron. Absolutely fascinating. Never seen that before in my life. Uh, so cool. That is, what is that? Gouache. Huh, that's absolutely fantastic. It's made my day basically seeing that, because that's just so cool. Really beautiful little painting, isn't it? Then you can see the vase of flowers, can't you, in the end? You've got four, you can't hear me, can you? can see the vase. Hang on. So I'm going to hold the thing you can see. You can see the vase here and the flowers popping out, the little square circles. That is absolutely wonderful. How much that is? 24,000. Worth every penny, I would have said. That is so cool. These are the galleries up on the, the side, um, up above the um, big section downstairs. Um, just going to have a glimpse of these, otherwise we'll be here for hours. But yeah, it's more contemporary, more, maybe more fun, or, you know, it's a sort of, uh, less so much that sort of modern British artist or established artist section. It's more, um, you know, a bit more contemporary, different things going on. Quite a nice drawing. Is that a drawing? Can't tell if that's a drawing. Charcoal on paper, 2500. Not a bad, not a bad drawing. Right now we're going into the encounters bit. Photo 500. This is more kind of, I think, oh, let's see what it says on the wall. It's launched in Art Fair, well, Art Fair 23. This is edition created by Pearl Behrman. Seeks to scan the scope of what an encounter with contemporary art might entail. Kamina, meeting with the unexpected, geographic location, social communities. Anyway, that's basically, you know, men are be more 
contemporary vibey bit here. And I think we've got galleries from, yeah, yeah, from around the world. The rest of it's very much British. Look like a crazy bear man being attacked by a monkey. Nice. Ooh, big loopy pictures in the paint. More photos. So I suppose this is almost like they're trying to be their free section. It's more edgy. Probably not bad, really, is it? Signa Gallery. I guess these galleries are all invited here primarily, so they're probably not quite so traumatized about selling. They're more interested in promoting themselves. This is um, Russell Heron. I think I had this guy in an exhibition as well, but he's quite well known for his. These are drawings. Um, um, on we go. Different stuff. Oh, you got a bit of a crazy mini installation. And you got your own torches there, funky. You can touch and play. Whoa. More pictures, as you would expect in the art fair. Oh, these are quite fun. Flood, drought, food, dreaming. Quite pretty, those things. On round we go. Yes, I think this is the encounters section. You've got an encounters cafe. It's exciting, isn't it? Um, yeah, cool. So this is actually quite fun, this little bit, isn't it? Oh, look a little at these down here. These look quite, these abstracts or not, sort of abstract, I sort of, hmm, constructs stuck together. Interesting idea. Hmm. Interesting idea. Galleries tucked in these little bits around the corner. Loads more galleries, actually a lot more than I thought, or I remember. Masses of them. Common Sense Gallery, Quantum Contemporary Art, Ronan Art Gallery. Lots and lots of them. Interesting, isn't it? And you're back out into these bits that run around that main hallway. It's quite a nice little painting. Oh, that's funny, Tracy Emin. Quite funny, I carry your ashes home. I should quite like that one. That's with Terry Frost, surely. Yeah, that's a Terry Frost. It's that by. Intriguing. What's this one? This isn't Ivan Hitchens. Quite a dark, freaky one. Hmm. Intriguing. Strolling on down the other side of the uh, bit above the main centre section. Pantron Hall, quite sort of um, uh, traditional things. Gallery different. This is really just to give you a vibe of what's going on. As in, I'm hoping you can get a sense of the different kind of galleries that are here. Oh, lovely Patrick Heron, look at that. Print, how much is that one? Oh, I can't see what it says. 5,250. Hmm, I do like those screen prints. Still expensive, but nice, isn't it? Hmm, got a lot of drawings in here, so here they buy. Christopher Wood. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty cool. How much is that? 9,000. Christopher Wood is sort of, you know, with Bendix, and they claimed they discovered Alfred Wallace and St. Ives. This is Quayside. Probably is St. Ives, this. Hmm, quite interesting, this. Keith Vaughan, Keith Vaughan, Keith Vaughan. Everywhere there's Keith Vaughan. Hmm, intriguing. <clears throat> Portal painters. You've got bizarre things on the other side up here. Like sort of cutlery shop, glass shop. More galleries. Oh, look at those freaky 3D things. Oh, they're crazy. Keep on going. Big sculpture of a giant thing. Look at you. You've got lunch place, obviously. Important to show everybody the lunch area. 
So it's quite a nice lunch. How much is it? Lunch and main course is 16.50 for a hot main course. There you go. And you got another quite nice view across the uh, across the exhibition place, which is nice, isn't it? So good room for it. Right. So a little roundup. London Art Fair 2024. Always like coming to London Art Fair. Always like seeing the kind of traditional stuff. Um, yeah, you know, it's not freeze. It's not going to have people traumatized or disturbed. It's all much more about having something nice and um, kind of acceptable, I suppose you could say. But Matisse did say paintings are things that she should look at, like relaxing in a big armchair at the end of the day. Of course, that is astonishingly unfashionable view of painting these days um, but, but you know London Art Fair I quite like it I think there's more to be found in it than you might expect um, and the traditional stuff I think is pretty cool and it, yeah I do like coming here to see Ivan Hitchens Ben Nicholson's, Patrick Herons, all that sort of stuff highlight for me today was that Patrick Heron gouache of the painting of the flowers beautiful kind of abstract kind of picture hovering between abstract and reality Anyway, really enjoyed it. So, as ever, please like and subscribe to arttop10.com for more art exhibition reviews and interviews with artists. Adara Fiz, Avid Zane, bye-bye.